Infrastructure development is at the center of the PF and President Lungu's development agenda. So far, government has constructed various infrastructure across the country. This time around, President Edgar Lungu is on the copper belt to commission the newly constructed Simon Mwansaka Pueblo International Airport. The head of state started by touring the airport before addressing the people. Uh, today marks a key milestone in the transport subsector and the aviation subsector in particular as we continue on our journey to reposition in Zambia as a major aviation hub in Africa. My government set out in the seventh national government plan to make the transport sector facilitate development. This has come to fruition as I commissioned the new Simon Monsaka Purple Airport here in Dola today. The president said it is the desire of his government to put up key infrastructure in all the ten provinces of Zambia. We shall embark on yet another ambitious project to turn the Lusaka and Dola Highway into a dual carriageway. <laughs> this project is long awaited and it will not only reduce accidents on this highway, but it will give business to local contractors who will also employ many of our young people. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, the projects we commenced at the Kenneth Kaunda International Airport and here at the new Simon Mosaka Puepo International Airport are pivotal in facilitating the country's tourism and industrialization agenda. This infrastructure is key in elevating our development agenda to another level. And Copper Belt Province Permanent Secretary Bright Nundwe said the province has recorded increased development under the PF administration. To me, Your Excellency, and the people of this nation are not forgetting Copper Belt. We are very appreciative to this outstanding gesture that I have brought to the fore for the people on the Copper Belt. I must confess, in the midst of welcoming the people to the Copper Belt, that have changed the landscape of the entire country in terms of development, and Copper Belt has not been spared. We will have capacity of handling more than 1 million passengers per year, 3,500 meters long, and 60 meters wide runway could take off and land up to Boeing 747-400 and the Boeing 777-200 aircraft under the equivalent. And the Zambia Airport Corporation Limited Board Chairman Miringolungu said the construction of the airport to improve the state of the aviation sector in Zambia. Your Excellency, this is another major step in achieving your vision to turn Zambia into the regional aviation hub. Your drive for inf infrastructure development is unparalleled in the history of our country. And as Zambia Airports Corporation Limited, we are proud beneficiaries of your vision and your drive. However, Your Excellency, we are not idle recipients, and we pledge that this infrastructure shall be used to its maximum capacity. Meanwhile, the head of state used the new airport on his way back to Lusaka. The 397 million United States dollars project has not only added beauty to the city of Ndola, but is also expected to contribute to job creation. Hector Simfukwe, ZNBC News, Ndola District. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, leave a comment and subscribe.